Yeah, I keep this on the shelf here. This is my baby book from almost 88 years ago. Back then, my folks lived on Union Street in Milford, New Hampshire. I was born at Nashua Memorial Hospital. A few months later, Mom and Dad moved to Winchester, Virginia, where Dad worked as a finished carpenter and cabinet maker. Here's a picture of my dad with me just a little before my first birthday. Mother used to tell me that when I first learned to speak, I spoke with a southern accent. The baby book, baby book was a gift. The inscription says, To Catherine, May 19th, 1936, from Juliet. Hard to read. I don't know who Juliet was, and there's no one I can ask. Mother died in 1966. I came into this life, it says here, at half past four on July 3rd, 1936, a Friday, Lauren Richard was the doctor, Hilda Smith, the nurse. I weighed six pounds, seven ounces. My favorite lullaby, it says here, was winking and blinking and nod. And mother writes, he will listen as if he understands every word. And in my mind, I can hear my mother singing that right now. I crept at 11 months. Mother said it was kind of a swimming stroke. My first shoes came from Aunt Harriet, who lived out in Arizona. My first tooth on May 19th, 1937. And Mother writes, I can hardly wait for Fred to get home. Baby's tooth is really there. And another will be here by next week. And this page, this is my favorite page. Sweetest sound ever heard, our baby's first small word, hot dog. Mother writes, I'm sure if we were in the North and not in Virginia, baby's first word wouldn't have been slang. This word no one I know says. It's cute anyway. Mother had pretensions. Yeah. Anyhow. It's a testament. Sweet, sad, hopeful. And after 87 years, I'm still here. And I know all the things that are going to happen in the lives of these two people. And the book itself, like me, worn and stained, <laughs> falling apart. Hey, hot dog.